everyone, welcome to this week's tech tutorial. What I want to share with you this week is how you can semi-automate video webinars using Webinar Jam's hybrid feature. This is really effective for you if you have a video webinar with slides or a screen share and you want to take some of the pressure off of you by not doing it live because that can be stressful and a little overwhelming or maybe you're busy and you don't actually have time to do the entire webinar live so it makes more sense for you to pre-record it. However, you still want the audience to experience it as if it is live, be able to engage within the chat box and, and increase the perceived value of the webinar by making it appear as if it is live. That's what this is all about. So first things first, I do this using Webinar Jam because I find that it is the easiest software to use. And if you're not super techy, then uh, the Webinar Jam user interface I find is very easy. So if you go to webinarjam.com, you can purchase it. It's $397 for the year at the time of recording this tech tutorial. And once you purchase it, you'll get into the members area that looks something like this. Now you'll see here at the top, there's two options, live webinars and evergreen webinars. Technically what I have here is for live webinars. So when I say that you're semi-automating it, I mean that parts of it you will still have to go in and do. For example, if you are uh, so you have to go in and you actually have to start the video so that the video makes it appear as if it's live. And if you want to manage the chat box, you have to go in there for the chat box as well. So there will still be some things that you have to do live, but it will still take a lot of the pressure off of you. Evergreen webinars are ones that are 100% automated. However, that feature has not been rolled out by Webinar Jam yet. It's still in beta testing. So for right now, you have to use the hybrid feature in order to semi-automate your video webinars. Okay, so when you get into this member section, let me walk you step by step how to set up this semi-automated hybrid webinar. So first, you want to go over to the tab that says New Webinar and click that. Then you'll walk through all of these steps. I'm just going to put in a lot of placeholders for right now. So I'm just going to call this test webinar, test webinar, test description. Uh, I'm just going to set it to happen right now so that I can show you how to do it live. So I'm going to confirm that it's right now and go to the next. Then you want to give your name for right now. Let's see, I'll give, I'll give my name. And then you want to give your Gmail account because you will have to log in using your Gmail account for this. So this is my current Gmail account. And then normally I would upload my photo so that people can see that when the webinar goes live as well. Add that, save and next. So I don't need to create a registration page because I set it to go for right now. That would be something that you would have to do if it was a scheduled webinar. I don't need any notifications. I don't need any of this either. Again, you don't need a thank you page if it's happening right now. And then here is where you set up the videos that will be the video for the webinar. So, And you can also set up polls and you can set up offers. So for instance, if you have a pitch, you could set up an offer that looked like this and it'll pop up. So let me show you. There we go. <laughs> okay, and then let me add the video. So this is the video that you will that is your webinar. So you'll add new video. It's gonna call it test, and you have to find the the video URL. So I am going to go to my YouTube account and just choose a random video.
So you get the huge, it has to be on YouTube, by the way. So you can't use this on Vimeo or any other video software. It has to be YouTube. So I'm going to go onto YouTube and get the URL. Pop the URL in there and say how long the video is. So it's about 2 minutes and 38, 0, 2 minutes and about 40 seconds. So I'm going to save it, confirm, save next. Uh, right now, I'm not going to worry about the replay page or monetization, and then um, it's finished. So I'm going to go to the dashboard now, take it out of test mode and into live mode. Okay. Now, in order to start the webinar, you'll have to click on this presenters tab and uh, copy and paste this. link into your browser. You'll have to log into your Gmail account, the one that you specified you'd be logging in as, as a presenter. Then type your name in here and start the Hangout. And then you'll want to wait until this appears. Uh, start, so you have to start the broadcast and you will also need to enter the room. So click both of those buttons and that will make the webinar live. You can test this by going back into your, your Webinar Jam member studio, clicking on the attendees tab, finding the emergency link, and then putting that in your browser to see what happens when you, you click that link. And so as you can see, you know, obviously I, my webcam is, is not showing, so, uh, but this is live. So then you're going to go over to the video tab, click that little gear, and choose the video that you want to load to make the webinar appear live. And you're going to press load video then you're going to play the video. And note that your video and audio are going to be muted while this video is playing. So come back over to the attendee tab and make sure that it is working. Signature enhance. Okay, and you can see that my goofy video is playing, so um, that's working. And once the video's over, you would just end it and resume what you're normally doing in the Hangout. So there you go. That is how you put a webinar on Semi-Automate. You pre-record it and make it appear as if it's live using Webinar Jam. As you can see, at the time of the webinar, you still have to log into the room, start the broadcast, and load the video. But that's not a lot of work to do when you could be doing the entire webinar live and that's way more work on you. So this definitely does take the pressure off and makes it a bit easier. Thanks guys, this has been Amanda Goldman Petrie, but you can call me Amanda GP with my tech tutorial for this week. For more tutorials, tips, and resources, go to coachwithamanda.com.